The Gyanwapi moose case frequently appears in news. Let's try to understand more about it. The Allahabad High Court on August 3, 2023 cleared the way for the Archaeological Survey of India to conduct a scientific survey excavation of the Gyanwapi Moose Complex located in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. ASI earlier started its survey on July 24 but had to stop after the country's apex court, the Supreme Court, stepped in following a plea filed by the Gyanwapi Moose Committee. The fundamental basis of all legal actions is that a Hindu temple was demolished in the past and replaced by a mosque at the same location. The most recent instance of destruction is attributed to the time of Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb's rule. Historian Satish Chandra wrote in his book Medieval India from Sultanat to the Mughals that Aurangzeb ordered the temple's demolition as a form of punishment and due to its perception of it as a source of subversive ideas. This led to the destruction of several temples, with most being erected in their place as detailed in Chandra's work. The temple faced destruction on at least two earlier occasions. In 1194 CE, it was attacked by Aibak and during Queen Razia's belief and tumultuous reign, that is 1236 to 1240, the site was taken over, resulting in the construction of a mosque, as historian Meenakshi Jain highlights in her book flight of deities and rebirth of temples. The temple was reconstructed during Akbar's reign only to be demolished again during Aurangzeb's rule. Interestingly, a section of the temple was intentionally preserved as the rear wall of the mosque which ironically came to be known as the Gyanwapi Mosque named after the sacred site it occupied. Presently, the Gyanwapi Mosque and Kashi Vishwanath Temple exist in close proximity indicative of their intricate history of destruction and subsequent reconstruction. The case stems from an August 2021 petition filed by four Hindu devotees that sought rights to pray daily before Hindu idols on the outer walls of Gyanwapi Mosque. The matter has since moved from a local court to a district court to the Allahabad High Court and the Supreme Court only to be transferred back to the district court and Allahabad High Court. The most recent order on the excavation came on July 21, 2023 when the Varanasi District Court ordered to conduct a survey of the site but excluding the Wuzu Khana or Ablution area where Hindus claim to have found a shivling last year. After a brief intervention by the Supreme Court, the excavation exercise is all set to restart at the complex. The Anjuman Intezamia Masjid Committee which manages the Gyanwapi Mosque is of the view that the proceedings are an attempt to change the religious character of the mosque. They argue that their rights under the Places of Worship Special Provisions Act 1991 are being violated. The act bars the conversion of a place of worship from how it existed on August 15, 1947, the day of independence from the British rule. Section 4.1 of the Act states, the religious character of a place of worship existing on the 15th day of August 1947 shall continue to be the same as it existed on that day. The Act in Section 4.2 goes on to the state that if any suit, appeal or any other proceedings concerning the conversion of the religious traits of any place of worship existing on August 15, 1947 is pending before any court, tribunal or other authority, the same shall abate. It further stipulates that no fresh proceedings on such matters shall be initiated. Section 3 of the Act prohibits conversion of a religious place in any manner, even to cater to a particular section of the religion. No person shall convert any place of worship of any religious denomination or any section thereof into a place of worship of a different section of the same religious denomination or of a different religious denomination or any section thereof, it reads. However, in response to the arguments presented by the Mosque Committee, a bench of Justices D.Y. Chandrachut, now the Chief Justice of India, Suryakant and P.S. Narasimha said, the ascertainment of the religious character of a place is not barred by the 1991 Act. Critics of the Act argue that it bars judicial review, a fundamental aspect of the Constitution, imposes an arbitrary and retroactive cut-off date and infringes upon the religious rights of Hindus, Jains, Buddhists and Sikhs.